Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media TV. And in this video, I'm actually going to show you one of four parts to running ads on Facebook. So this is a series that I've started. And we're gonna start with simply being on your new look on your Facebook business page. And I'm gonna to talk to you about scrolling down. And it is here that you could actually click boost a post. So if you boost a post, automatically it's going to ask you um, questions about what it is you want to do. Do you want people to send you a message um, or a WhatsApp message? And these might not be things that you want to do, but when you're going to boost a post, you're only going to have a couple of choices. So the next part, if you scroll down, you will be able to choose your audience. But one of the things that we have to remember today, especially as real estate agents, as we are the new special ad category and I'm just going to click the button to turn it on and you can see it says no category is selected but when I click the drop down arrow you have to decide if you fall under any one of these four categories and of course as a real estate agent marketing uh, real estate you will have to click this button here under housing so once you've clicked housing, then you can go ahead and start choosing your next parameters, criteria, targeting your market. But what you will not be able to do is narrow down under 15 miles a particular area, and you will not be able to narrow down age or gender. Now you will be able to pick specific targeting areas when it comes to housing, but not really specific like we used to be able to do. And yes, it is very frustrating, but this is the new way on Facebook that you can run ads on Facebook to comply with the new rules and regulations. Now I'm just going to click out of here. So now most of us have tried boosting a post. And once you've boosted a post, you would then wait for that post to be accepted and reviewed by Facebook. It would take up to 24 hours and then your ad would start running. You actually should wait a couple of days in order to review your ad to see how well it's performing because you're usually in competition with other ads that are like your ad. Next, let's go over here to the ad center on the left-hand side from your business page wall and you would be able to view the ads that you have running. So if I click on view results, these are the results from the boosted post. Um, that was done on Facebook and it gives you a little bit of a summary of how that ad performed including audience it'll um, break down a few other parameters as you can see it is telling you how many people in a specific age range did look at that ad because it was open to everyone 13 years and older and it didn't really comply um, or get attention from the younger ones so I don't think you need to worry about that as much um, it is still the very best platform there is for you to be marketing your products and services and that is using Facebook for the money. So I reached 1,200 people for $11.50. So it's not, um, well, the cost was per messaging, $11.50. Overall, this ad ran for four days. I spent $23 and it is completed now. And it was just a sneak peek at a property that was coming on the market. So this is boosting a post. This is boosting a post from your wall. The other thing that I want to show you in the ad center, if you clicked on audiences, you would be able to create audiences for this particular business page. So when you go to boost your post, you will already have that audience picked and you will be able to pick it from a drop down menu when you're boosting it. So this is one way to run ads on Facebook. I don't think it is the best way, but it is one of the many ways that Facebook is asking you to create ads on Facebook. In this series, we are now going to move on to creating an ad using the Ads Manager. And I'm gonna walk you through creating an ad in the Ads Manager. In the third video, we're gonna look at 
lead generating. How do you create a lead ad or also known as a dark post on Facebook? And then in the fourth video, we're going to review the ads. We're going to look at the metrics. We're going to dive deep into the ads manager where we can look at how your ad is performing and what are the important metrics that you probably want to know about and to set up and to customize on your ads manager for that particular ad. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified when the next video in this series comes out here on YouTube.